Hi guys, welcome to Pro Club Fridays, episode 37. Now I just thought I'd take the chance in this next episode, as we change the kits and stuff, and the formation, to give you a look at the new Ormond Team style cards. We're trying to screen right now. And in the, in the last episode, we got promoted back into Division 3, I think. Yeah, Division 3. Although Jono's card there was a right wing guy, he's in goal for this first game. But you'll see from the way that it goes, he decides to go back up front again, on the right. As I play Scotty in here, and he somehow misses that first opportunity, but he's there on the rebound to get us back in the game. 1 1. Here, Jono makes a great save to stop that guy. And then <laughs> somehow he just smothers it, punches it into the air somehow to get it away and keep us in the game. But we unfortunately do go on to concede. Jono here with some more heroics, making another save to get the ball away. So it's not through any fault of his own, really, Jono. That guy there scored a hat trick to win our opponents the game. So Jono decides to go here as he picks up the right, um, picks up the ball on the right hand side of the pitch. Scott is going to play him. Jono stretching his legs now uh, as he's outfield again. He slides it in to Scotty, who just bangs it in at the near post. Keeper just jumped out of the way because he shat his pants from the power of Scotty's shot. And we're one in the lead, so. In the second half now, we're going to play a short free kick to Jono. He's going to somehow slide it through the keeper's legs. I don't know how he does it. Seriously, don't know how. He always manages to finish shots like this. But he does it again. That means we win that game 2-0. A much better start to this season in Division 3. Here, Jono's picking it up and slide it into me. And I'm going to round the keeper to make it 1-0 straight from the kickoff. Great little interchange between the three of us. Grab us the, the lead there. Here, Scott is playing it to me. And I spot the keeper. He's off his line. So I'm going to just ping it over the top of him. Into the back of there. It's not the greatest chip in the world. Keeper might have just got it if he dived for it. But I took the chance. And chipped him. Loved it over him. And it went in, fortunately enough, to give us that two goal lead. But we actually throw it away. Here, just before half time, Jono, I've parlayed it to him and somehow he bullshit finishes it past the keeper again. I don't know how, but he manages to do it again and bullshit past the keeper. But we can't hang on to the game and it ends 3 3. A bit of a thriller. But the amount of times he was in the lead, we should have probably won the game. Here, straight from kick, kick off after we're 2 0 down after they scored their second goal. We've got a man sent off as well. I'm sliding it to Jono and he's sliding it past the keeper. Great interchange between the three of us again. This is the kind of thing I was talking about Hope that I was hoping to have is that nice hit and change, although we do get destroyed in this game. But into the next game, still nil-nil. We're trying to go for that short free kick again, but this time the, the box is just too crowded and they managed to get it away, but we recycle it and Scotty plays Jono in. And Jono smashes it into the back of the net to make it 1-0. And that's much more like it. We're not throwing games away, although we do throw that lead away. <laughs> Just as I say it. But yeah, I'm sliding it into the channel to Scotty. He's going to pick the ball up and cut inside. He's going to play it to Jono. Jono's going to stay composed to smash us back into the lead and make it 2-1. Which is just what he does, really. And that's make sure that we grab the three points in this game. And here you can see we're not doing too bad at the halfway point of the season. We can still get promoted, but we're still possibly a relegation candidate. But here, straight from kickoff, once again... I play it to Jono, Jono's pinging it to Scotty, who's there with the header, to head home and put us in the lead straight from kickoff. Just kickoff glitches from everywhere, even though they're not really kickoff glitches. But these guys, straight from their kickoff, pretty much, go on to grab an equaliser, unfortunately. Iniesta and Van Perfect playing for Burton Albion's. They've gone down there in the leagues, but fortunately, they actually, I think they must have lagged out. I can't see them quitting from that point. It means we pick up the three points, which means we need about two points, I think, to stay in the division. As there, it's Jono putting us in the lead as after I pinged it over the defence to him. Here, though, I've got there getting it away. Jono is going to win the flick on. I'm going to pick up the ball. Play it to Scotty. Brilliant touch past that guy there, effortlessly past him. And he breaks it into the box. He unleashes the finish into the bottom corner. Unbelievable goal there by Scotty. Great goal. He's just found, he's in his element now. He's finding his feet as a striker, as that centre forward. He's just belting him in for, for fun, doing it for days. Here, he finds Jono this time, and Jono 
super generous to pass it across to me, sweaty goal to get me on the score sheet with the, the lads to make it 3-1. And that means we've all scored in this game in a, in a win, which was good. Messi, Neymar, Suarez. Nah, it's all about us three, man. We're even better. But here, Scottish picking up, beating one man again. He slides it through to me. And I'm cutting this side and smashing it in. Just unbelievable into the back of the net to make it 1 1. Level the game up. That's the way it ends in the, in the end. We don't get any more real decent chances. And that's the way the game ends 1 1. We pick up a point, which means promotion is still on offer. If we can win one of the games that we've got left and stand defeated in the two of them, that means we will get promotion. But moving on now, from the corner, Scotty can only hit the wine. But this guy, unbelievable save there at the near post. We're 1 0 down though, so we need to try and get something from this corner, which I'm going to whip in again. And hopefully, so I can get to it. And Scotty's up there, he rises just about enough power to push it past the guy on the line and make it 1 1. Here though, Scotty's pinging it up and I'm trying to flick it back down. And somehow we're going to get a corner from it. And we're 2-1 down now. They're going to take the lead again. Let's go for the same thing again, Scotty, in the second half. I whip it in. And there is Scotty, unbelievably, to head it home and get himself the second of the game. <laughs> to get us on level terms for the second time in this game. But they've gone to take the lead again. And here I am, near the end now. I'm going to whip it in again. Scotty's going to rise and head home to grab himself a hat-trick of headers from corners. I grab myself a hat trick of assists from corners, as you can see from the accomplishment there. But it's not going to be enough. We actually lose the game 4 3, which means we won't get promoted and we're actually going to hold our position in Division 3. So we're going to try again next season to get promoted into Division 2. It was a decent season overall. Scotty was immense. That's going to bring it close to this episode, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in a bit.